stage for our 414 session with the Levi Gospel Singers in conjunction with Gospel Jubilee at Turner Hall tomorrow evening. Before we bring on the Levi Gospel Singers, I'm here with John Seeger, who is one of the organizers of the event. Hello, John. Hi there. Good to see you. Good to have you back in a different capacity. We've had John on as a member of R&B Cadets. So. Yes, yeah, it's a beautiful stage here and a great place to be. So tell us a little bit about this event, because you're one of the organizers, how it came to be and in your involvement. Um, it's just a natural pairing from uh, the city of Milwaukee it has a, a, an unbelievably great gospel scene that isn't seen widely outside of certain parts of town. And uh, that's one reason we wanted to do it. We are raising money for a progressive community health care center, which is a great organization here in town, with, currently with two locations. Uh, Last year, on the day of the Jubilee, they opened a beautiful facility on 35th and Lisbon. They also have the Hillside Clinic that's at, uh, it's at 1452 North 7th. So they're providing care for people who often can't afford it or are uninsured. Uh, anybody can go there and get care, whether you have insurance, Medicare, Medicaid, and uh, it's, it's a fantastic place. And you too are a patient as well. Right? I'm, I'm, I'm a patient and... <laughs> Oddly enough, and I'm a musician, member. I'm a board member. Excellent. So uh, tell us about the events, the who, what, when, and where. It's at Turner Hall tomorrow, is that right? It's at Turner Hall, it's at 7.30. It's, it's gonna be unbelievable. We've done, this will be the third one, and you have no idea how rocking it is. It will get that place going, and I guarantee it. And it's fun. You don't have to be, you know, you're not, it's not, you're not going to be evangelized or anything. You're right. going to go there, you may wind up, but <laughs> you're going to feel good. And yes. it's going to be, and you have a spiritual lift of some sort, I guarantee it. If you want to call it fun, you can. Everybody's invited. You will love it. So we're going to bring up the band. One of the unique things about the Levi Gospel Singers is they are a cappella. So we'll ask the folks in back to maybe keep the volume level down, show them some respect and we're going to bring up the Levi Gospel Singers here on 88.9's 414 Music. Good evening. How are you guys doing today? Great. Uh, we are the Levi Gospel Singers. My name is Bobby. This is called Squeak. His name is Chandler. This is Sid. This is Cindy. We're cousins. Um, well, I'll tell you a little bit about ourselves after we do our first uh, Oh, 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 I'm just waiting, I've been waiting on Jesus. Yeah. 
because my wedding day will soon be over. Oh yes, they will. I'm wait on him. I'll wait on him. Yes, I promise I'll wait. I'll wait on him. Yes, I'm gonna wait on him. I'll wait on him. Ooh, I'm gonna wait on him. I'll wait on him. Yes, I'm gone. I'm gone. Gospel singers on 889's 404 Music. Welcome. Let's uh, let it, let's have you introduce yourselves. Um, my name is Robert Reed. I'm a minister. Um, these are my cousins. So I'm letting you say. I'm Cedric Torrance. Glad to be here this evening. I'm Chosen Vessel Cynthia Hunt, and I got people in St. Louis listening. Hey, <laughs> mom and dad. Yeah. Chris <laughs> Chavez. And so you're all cousins, although I'll borrow John's joke, which was right. you, you sing like siblings. Yes. Uh, how did you all get together and decide we're, we're going to be a gospel group, an a cappella to boot? Well, uh, he, me and Cedric, we've been singing for years. Uh, we had a group before this. And then just a couple years ago, we just got together by chance and just started singing. And no music. So this is what you had. Amen. And was that a conscious decision to be a cappella, not well, have... After a while, yeah, because you know sometimes if, when we want to like make music with our ears, it, the music takes away. Mm -hmm. So uh, we we find each other, uh, we tend to gravitate to each other's sound. So that's what we do. And you can hide behind music when you're a cappella. Right. Right. There's nowhere to hide. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Which speaks to the quality of, yeah. of your singing that, that you're all a cappella. There's there's nothing to hide behind at all. Yeah, and it, it made sound check really easy too. So. <laughs> <laughs> so Cynthia, we were talking this week about your involvement with this uh, event on Friday tomorrow. Last year you were a spectator. This year you are a participant. How how did that come about? Well. Um, Actually, I was participating then too because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. So when they be singing, I'm singing too. So they, you know, I met uh, Sister Julia in the Spirit of Charms, and uh, Sister Julia was also in another group. Um, uh, what's the group she's in? Uh, she's over there. That's Sister Julia right there. Oh, hey, Sister Julia. <laughs> Queens of Harmony, yeah. Queens of Harmony, yeah. and um, you know, like I was telling you before, every weekend we was going out singing with the other quartet groups, and uh, Sister Julia just asked us to jump on board this time. And are you familiar with the other artists who are playing uh, tomorrow night at Turner? Have you performed with them before, or some of them? Yeah. So I've had a lot of hip hop bands on the stage, and there's a really strong hip hop community. How tight knit is the gospel community here in Milwaukee? Very much so. Uh, there's a sort of a camaraderie with the local. Uh, we are the only group that actually sings all a cappella without any music. So um, when we go, we just and they embrace us, and we appreciate it because you know some sometimes at one time we didn't have a venue to sing in. I mean, it just was a lot of rehearsing going on. So it paid off, you know, and here we are before you all. <laughs> and aside from today and performing tomorrow, do you perform other venues? Well, actually, uh, we have, like I said, this is a ministry. Like, we have sick people at home, they're in hospice. We go out to people's homes. Yeah. We go to uh, uh, shelters. We go to nursing homes. We go, like, if a person has cancer, we go actually to that room and we sing. Um, yes, I just want to give reference to God too, because without God, we couldn't do nothing. We couldn't even breathe today. I want to give honor to the Holy Spirit. I want to give honor to Jesus. I want to give honor to 
my brothers and sisters in Christ. We are a part of IDC ministry where Bishop Warren G. Kirkendall is our overseer. And over there, I'm in uh, charge of the outreach ministry and the tender touch ministry. So we go to the different nursing homes and the different facilities to bless the people, the hospitals. All you got to do is just call us. We're there. I was in an ecumenical choir in high school. We did the same thing. And, and the smiles that you bring to people's faces whether they're infirm or they're just in a home, they love that. So I, I can only imagine what warmth it brings to you to be able to do that. Absolutely. So thank you for that. Let's get another song from you guys. It's the Levi Gospel Singers on 414 Music on 89. sibling rivalry, but is there cousin rivalry amongst you, or do you all get along pretty well? Well, we get along. You know, <laughs> we had a member that he's still active, but you know, it was more or less a little turbulence because, um, I don't know, I can't say, he just wanted to be a little bit more out front. And that's, okay. that's, that's his prerogative. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't work with the group dynamics. So. No, no, 
like, everybody's pretty laid back. <laughs> so I was under the mistaken assumption that you were doing all traditional stuff, but you actually write some of the material as well. Yeah, we yeah we write also. Um, I do most of the writing, and then sometimes we collaborate. She might call me at four in the morning, hey, let's go with this, with that. So, you know, and it, it works out. That's great. So, Is there a plan in the future to record your stuff? or Actually, um, I talked to a recording guy today, and um, I set up a date. But like I said, right now I'm doing most of the writing, so I'm trying to, I talked to John to see if John might want to help me out with writing. Looking for other help, you know, as far as like getting out promotions, managing and whatnot. Um, I believe that we have something that we can go a little further with. So, you know, but I love Milwaukee, uh, this is my home. So I'll make sure that uh, people know that they have a venue here for something like that. And this, this event tomorrow is going to be fantastic. Oh, absolutely. So Mahalia Jackson said, Gospel songs are songs of hope. When you sing them, you are delivered of your burden. With your involvement with gospel music, does that... Does that absolutely, because like I said, my being a minister, I need to tell everybody that God loves you. And it's not about perfection. People think that, you know, because you go to church or you read the Bible that it makes you perfect. But actually, it's about a progressional walk. It's not what goes in you that defiles a man, it's what comes out of you. You know, so if you, you know, people think, well, if I drink this beer, but if you, excuse the expression, if you're a hellion when you drink that beer, that's how you're going to be. But if you can drink a beer and it don't make you sin, then that makes you still right with God. Sin is what makes people stay away. So we need to know that everybody's the same. I don't walk on water. I don't gravitate on air. I haven't raised anybody from the dead. You know what I'm saying? So I need to know that, but, but what I do is, I work every day on trying to be the best person I can. Yes. You know, I don't run, I don't try to affect anybody. You know, I don't try to affect anybody in the wrong way because, trust me, I did have my share of drinking. You know, let me tell the truth on myself, pull the cover off myself so everybody else can love me like I, who I am. Yes. I did drugs. Yes. You know, I was out there. I mean, I have a testimony. I can talk to young men today about gangs, you know, because I was involved in gangs in the early age of my life. But today I'm a professional. I'm a college grad. I'm a truck driver. I'm a dad. You know, I have a lot of things. I have a business. You know, so, you know, there's things about being a professional walk. I mean, I play soccer. There isn't any black man that plays soccer. You know what I'm saying? And guess what? I've been in the military, so I have a lot to talk about when somebody comes to me. They might just see this right here, but they don't know my story. He's an ex-serviceman, Navy, Army. You know, we all have different stories up here. I'm just a vet. She's just a vet. <laughs> you know, we just thank the Lord for just being able to, to share our walk. You know, that's what we all should do. Share something with somebody. Tell them you care about them. And show them, you know, that when you show somebody you love them, that's of God anyway. That's right, God. And what brought you to that point? At what point did you say, this is not the way to live my life? Um, I asked God because I didn't want to see my mother suffer anymore. I didn't want her. I didn't want her to die and see me out in a, in a lifestyle that wasn't set for me in the beginning. So changed my life. Well, could we uh, get another song from the Levi Gospel Center? Absolutely. Four One Four Music Live. On Oh yeah, we're going to do Say Loud. We wrote this one. So, bear with us. I want a marvelous Monday. Say Loud. A thoughtful Tuesday. Say Loud. A wonderful Wednesday. Say Loud. A triumph Thursday. Say Loud. Yes, I want a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. Yes, I want a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. This Monday, say that, a Friday, Tuesday, say that, a wonderful Wednesday, say that, a Friday, Thursday, say that, yes, I want a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, yes, I want a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, yes, I want a Friday.
Springsteen has a gospel element of it. What of those secular artists with gospel in their repertoire did you guys grow up with? Um, I want to say maybe secular would be Aretha Franklin, uh, Marvin Gaye, uh, Gladys, Knight, Gladys Knight, Mary J. Blige, yeah, uh, Ray, Shaka Khan. And because I'm from the uh, early age, let's go with all the notes, Steely Dan, you know. <laughs> I mean, Chicago, and the Eagles, you know, so, I mean, we had it all, and you know, you, you gotta embrace all music, because music is, is, is what makes the heart grow for. I mean, yeah. it, it crosses barriers. So it has healing properties yeah. that you've seen from, from performing for the Infarm. Oh, you know, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for coming. Thank you. This has been a blast. Uh, the event is tomorrow, tomorrow. at Turner Hall. Yes. You can get tickets at the box office, also at uh, turnerhall.org. Uh, yes. And thanks again for coming. And Thank you. Can, can we find you? I know um, you have a, a, a YouTube page, right? Yes, yes. Is that just Levi? Just look up Levi's says No, it's Cynthia Hunt 50. Okay. Cynthia One more time. Cynthia Hunt 50. Cynthia Hunt 50. Yeah, God has blessed me with a Christian television show. I came off Janetta Robinson's show. So you can CYD. find me on CYD, Career Youth Development. You can uh, find me on Warner Cable, Channel 96, AT&T U Verse, Channel 99, on YouTube, Cynthia Hunt 50. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, I'm on Saturday, Sundays at 6 p.m., Fridays at 2 p.m., and Mondays at midnight. All right. Excellent. Well, thank you all for coming, and we really appreciate everybody. <laughs> Forward for Music is presented by the Milwaukee Bucks with support from Lackey and Joyce, Milwaukee Brewing, and Hi Hat Lounge in the Garage. I want to thank our live engineer, Lodi, all of you for coming out, and all of our members. For 414 Music, I'm Ken Sumka. I'm going to send it back to the studio. Thanks again. This is our tradition with 414 Music. We're back on the regular radio, but we're gonna get the uh, performers to do one more song just for the studio audience, so.
King, rise among us, let it rise. Oh, 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 oh let it rise. Oh, 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 oh,